morning welcome to another video from the living korea channel today i'm going to float down the tewa river the local city river here in Ulsan, on my paddle board <laughs> This is the spot where I where I drop the board into the water. It's right next to Guyongli. This is uh, the way to Yunist. There's a truck stealing water from the river, hopefully not dumping garbage into it. I just got into the river and it's, uh, it's too shallow here to, for me to sit on the board. The back fin scrapes on the ground. So I've got the... Uh, few good meters before I get to Sonbawi, at which point I'll be able to safely sit my butt down and coast down to the first dam, which is not very far, and then I'm gonna have to carry the board over, um, because right after the dam there's just basically rock bed, and no way that I could be swimming or floating down there. Wow, very shallow. Ankle deep water. The weather is super nice. The water is super warm. Well, I'm past the past the marker, I guess you could say. Well, those are the boys from here on. It should be uh, decent until until the first dam. And there is definitely a lot of fish because I see them jumping. camera strapped up to the front of the board which is why it's a bit shaky because I'm keeping balance standing up I figure this trip is gonna take about two to three hours that's what I was thinking just based on the distance um, not really counting in all the times that I'm gonna have to portage the board which may be more than I anticipated but it's all good. So far, very calm water. I think I need a dip. Very nice. It's pretty, pretty hot. I'm coming up on Sonbawi. Quite a bit of birds here. Lots of wildlife. Ducks, herons and cranes. I've also seen sightings of otters. Uh, I have I've seen pictures of family of three or whatever. I don't know if they live in families. I think they do, otters do. But there's definitely otters. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see them. Some, maybe. On my way to Sonbawi. First time I was here was with Liam. Forcing around on the board. The fish. You can just see their backs sticking out of the water. They're really shallow right there. I had to sit down, I'm approaching the uh, Guyongli bridge and the water got very, very shallow, which is why you know, my fin is dragging on the bottom, which is why you can see the fish right there. Fishy fish all around. You see them squirming about. There's the bridge, a bunch of people chilling out. And I guess from here on, I'll, be, I'll, I'll have to carry the board. First portage on the way. The goal of today's journey is to get myself to Samsandong and then uh, since my car is parked here to grab um, either Beam or Lime, one of the Lime scooters or the Beam scooters and then drive back down to about here. I think this is where the scooters um, finish. That's, that's the end of the road for them. But in the meantime there's a bunch of places that I need to uh, carry the board over because the water here is pretty shallow and I'm pretty hungry and I didn't bring any food Because I thought the shake would be enough. I do have some some uh, nuts, but I'll be super duper hungry by the time I get there. So whatever
that side of the river is Guyongli. And on that side, it's Chonsang. And this is the bridge that connects those two neighborhoods. So that's where I'm at right now. Slow progress, because there's a lot of carrying. Uh, the river is pretty shallow for the most part so far. So I gotta schlep the, um, the boat over those parts. Um, because the fin, the back fin is pretty long and it drags on the ground, so. Found myself a nice deep stretch of water, of river. Just made it past Guyongli. And uh, while it was very quiet along Guyongli and Chonsang, here it's just a big busy highway. It's noisy. Just had to piggyback the board across this vast space of nothingness because it was quicker than going over these rapids. But I finally made it to uh, the bridge, the highway that takes, uh, takes us to Pohang, which is a fair chunk of road, but still nowhere near to Samsundong. We're just getting close to uh, Mugodong. And oh yeah, it's pretty damn warm, so I let my Samgyeopsal hang out. Because the wetsuit is pretty hot. Even the dips in the water don't help much. There's a lot of wildlife in this river. Fish. I'm sure there is a bunch of different varieties. Birds. There's ducks, cranes, herons, and a plethora of insects. Keep this river clean, Ulsan. made it to uh, Mugodong and I'm stuck on this thing. I gotta get over this little bridge. But so far the trip's pretty good. This is the first time to encounter the locals. Get over on the other side of this thing. A few crosswords here on the river. Which way do I go? I have no idea how the river splits. I assume it meets up somewhere at some point. But uh, I don't want to be uh, adventurous, I don't want to be stuck in some cul-de-sac on the way. So we'll go the straight route here. It's quite nice actually. Just going past Mugodong. Right there, there's Mugodong. I'm midway between Mugodong and uh, Samsundong right now. You can see the two high rises over there. That's on the verge of Samsundong or end of Songnamdong or beginning of Songnamdong, something of that sort. It's taking a lot longer than I expected it to be. So it's been, I think it's 10 o'clock right now, 10, 10. So seven, eight, nine, 10. I've been on the river for three hours. It's a long trip, it's a long hike, so long swim. So to get to Samsundong, man, I don't know, maybe two, three more hours. I don't know if I've got enough food. Oh no, I know I don't have enough food. I hope I've got enough water. I'm just coming up on a rotating restaurant that was just built recently. We just made it under this overpass that was also just completed recently. I would like to get to Samsundong, but I'm already having second thoughts on whether I can actually make it. If I had more food and the hunger wasn't pushing so hard, things would be okay. We'll see how, how far these nuts can take me. These nuts! Apparently there are uh, board rentals here. There are a bunch of people here on boards kayaking around. Hello. The second 
last bridge in, in uh, 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 Samsandong, there is a rental place here. You can rent boards. Uh, the boards are the 10,000 won for two hours. There's a little dock here you can stop by. There are tents up ahead. And these young chaps, conversational guys, um, you can stop by and have a try. If you want to try the boards, you can give it a go. But I'm gonna head down to the second bridge to stop ahead and uh, and then I'm gonna pack up. But these guys were very kind enough to pull me over and share some coffee, so that was nice. I made it to the very end of the river, or Sam Sandong, I guess. I don't know if the end is the river, but I am where I wanted to be, so that's good. Um, super tired. I was told by the two guys um, at the last stop who gave me coffee, by the way. Very nice guys. Um, that the stretch from Guyangli to that spot was 10 kilometers. So I assume that from their spot to this destination to where I'm at right now it's another kilometer. So 11 kilometers altogether. Pretty good. Uh, 7:30 start. I was on the water. So 7:30, I guess 8:30, 9:30, 10:30, 11:30, 12:30. Five hours on the river. Um, if you are deciding on on doing something similar i would recommend to start um, uh, getting into water after mugadong because prior to that um, there's a lot of carrying the water is very shallow and you end up carrying the board most of the time because of the back fin uh, otherwise it drags on the ground um, but anything after mugadong you can drop the board in and it's deep enough and it's uh it's very nice it's a very nice nice swim down the river I'll definitely be doing it again sometime, hopefully soon. Um, but in the meantime, I'm off. I gotta drink water, get some rest, and head back to get my car from Guyong. Who knows? We'll see if the beam scooters make it. Anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and come back for more. See us later. I'm just trying to find uh, another scooter because the beam scooter gave up, and I got caught on the rain, and I can't find a damn scooter. I was way off on the whole scooter thing. Turns out that renting of scooters is not as convenient as you'd think. As long as you operate within the city limits, things are all okay. But if you want to get out a little bit further, like uh, Sonbawi, where I started off, it's very difficult. My Lime scooter ran out of battery. I guess I could have taken that sucker all the way out if it had lasted. Uh, beam has got stupid limitations on where you can take it. You basically can ride Beam uh, around Oktong and Samsundong and uh, Guyong, but it's just from the beginning of Guyong until the end of it. So it's just commuting, community, commu it's just for commuting within the neighborhood. And uh, the other ones are semi-accessible due to. Uh, the requirements, uh, license requirements. So I'm stuck walking down to the car, which is still about 10 minutes, I think, um, in the heat. But I'm gonna walk down to the river and walk along the river. And uh, that's what's going to happen. <laughs>